So if you are a regular reader and you've read articles like how to get your life together, you know that I recommend four main areas to focus on for the quality of your life. They are in this order, your wealth, your health, your relationships, and your lifestyle, okay? If you're 18 to 35, I recommend those four areas in that order. As you start to get older, past 45, then I would move health into the number one spot and wealth into the second. But while you're still young, uh, wealth is number one because you are building that foundation, okay? So those are the four key areas. And you also know that I recommend yearly goals for each of those four key areas. So every year, I set a goal for myself in each one of those areas, and I recommend that you set a goal as well. And what I want to give you today are the metrics so you are able to compare yourself to how other guys are doing, and that's going to give you a clearer picture of, of what to shoot for, the benchmarks, um, being able to set yearly goals, and being able to actually quantify what it is um, that that we, we talk about when we talk about quality of life, okay? So just like you have metrics in the gym, how much can you bench press compared to the next guy? Now I'm going to give you metrics for your entire life structured into beginner, intermediate, advanced. So there's three metrics for each category um, with beginner, intermediate, advanced. So off the top, wealth, okay? Wealth, and I'm going to be talking about having your own business because you know that I recommend having a business. I cannot recommend having a job at all. It, if you are the type of guy that wants to work a job for the rest of your life, my site is not for you. So we're talking about your own business, okay? And just getting a business off the ground is hard enough. But 30K a year is beginner, 60K is intermediate, and 100K a year is advanced, all right? And that's for the West or the developing world equivalent. For example, in the developing world, four grand a month, you know, in Thailand or here in Asia is the same as 100K, if not more. So that's something to factor as well, depending on where you live. So 100K might not sound like too much or advanced, but it is when you consider the fact that you have your own business. If you're 18 to, you know, 30 and you have your own business and you're making 100K, you're doing fucking good. Okay, because most guys that are making 100K a year or have a job, they're salesmen and they have a boss. If you've gone out on a limb, you've built your own business, you built it up to six figures, you're doing fucking good. And there's also a number of studies that have been done that say that once you reach something like $75,000 a year, your quality of happiness doesn't go up that exponentially compared to, you know, even if you're making $300,000 a year. All right.